Welcome to part two of the Dartmouth Health Medical Assistant Apprenticeship Program Information Session. My name is Melissa, one of the MA program leaders, and over the next 10 minutes, I will be sharing further details about the educational aspects of the Medical Assistant Apprenticeship Program here at Dartmouth Health. During this session, I hope to provide you information that will help you understand the two major aspects of the education pathway this program provides, the 12-week training program and the degree pathway at Colby Sawyer College that the MA Apprenticeship Program aligns with. Let's dive in. The Medical Assistant Apprenticeship Program will begin with a 12-week training period that can best be described as accelerated and intense, yet obtainable with the proper effort and focus over that duration of time. As we spoke about in Part 1, the training is full-time with the typical weekly schedule being 7.45, 8 a.m. to 4.15, 4.30 p.m., Monday through Friday, along with the addition of nightly and weekend homework. Recently, we have adapted our course delivery from a fully in-person experience to a hybrid model that allows for one to two scheduled remote days in the week where the class will meet virtually rather than in the classroom. During these times spent in person and online with your fellow students and instructor, you will find yourself immersed in understanding the role of the medical assistant as well as the clinical context that is vital for your future success in providing the best patient care possible, all through the teaching of the core academic courses and by way of practical skill building. Clinical shadowing opportunities and skill labs tend to be the highlight of the program as you get to transform those concepts and procedures you have been reading over and writing on flashcards into hands-on experiences. Lastly, the final aspect that takes the most commitment and produces the greatest results will be the best will be the time spent working on homework and studying. Here is a breakdown of those core academic courses that make up the foundational knowledge needed to pass the CCMA exam and enter into the apprenticeship portion of this program. As you can see, during the first nine weeks of training, you will be completing five clinical courses, medical terminology, intro to anatomy and physiology, pathophysiology, pharmacology, and clinical medical assistant practices, which includes a lab and practicum. Additionally, you will have one professional development course that focuses on communication. In each of the six courses, your final grade will be based on the completion and correctness of homework and assignments, quizzes and tests, participation, and professionalism. For the practicum, your grade is based on feedback from the department or clinic in which you were selected for and shadow within. As you may have noted, the credits displayed next to the course names are those you will receive on a transcript from Colby Sawyer College upon the successful completion of the 12-week training. The role of a medical assistant is one that requires a high level of emotional intelligence and professionalism to effectively navigate your way through a variety of patients and priorities on an average day while providing exceptional care. This is why we couple our clinical training with a course focused on professional development. As part of your learning journey, you will have an opportunity to develop career goals Learn more about yourself as a pro professional and the brand you develop as a member of our team. As the clinical instructor focuses on the didactic and clinical skills, the role of the program leader is to prepare you for professional success. We will have one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions to provide time for reflection and feedback on what you are doing well in the areas for growth. This is one of the areas that makes this program unique and that our hiring managers value greatly. Our alumni have also shared the value in this as they never really had time to think about themselves in this way previously or have had someone focus on specifically on their professional success. On the topic of professional success, I'm very excited to share that between 2019 and 2020, Dartmouth Health expanded their partnership with Colby Sawyer College and this had a profound impact on the students of the WRI and the Medical Assistant Apprenticeship Program. As part of being selected into this program, that means you are also directly enrolled as a student at Colby Sawyer College. While you are learning to be a fantastic medical assistant in our classroom, you are earning college credit as a student at CSC free of charge. Yes, you heard that right. One day, on day one, you are getting paid, and in the 12 weeks, you will be earning 25 credits for the coursework completed as part of your MA training. Additionally, you will be provided with a personal academic advisor who understands the challenges of maintaining full-time employment while continuing your education and who can help you plan your individual academic journey. As part of that journey, once you begin your apprenticeship, 
you are eligible for up to 21 additional credits by participating in our optional apprenticeship coursework that goes hand in hand with your professional and technical learning you are doing in the department or clinic. Therefore, around eight months into your apprenticeship, you will already have 46 college credits that you earned without spending a dollar of your a dollar out of your pocket. That also means you are only five courses away from your associate's degree in health sciences from Colby Sawyer College. At this point, the program itself may be enough to interest you into applying, which I can understand, as it is a tremendous opportunity to step directly into the ever-growing healthcare field with a jump start to a meaningful position that can readily be the beginning of a rewarding career. Although, if one more great reason will help keep you on the path to pursuing this opportunity further, the reason is the degree pathway that is associated with the apprenticeship program. Most studies will show that someone with an associate's degree will earn hundreds of thousands of dollars more over their career than those who have not attained a degree up to that level. By coming through the MA apprenticeship program and taking the opportunity to earn all the free credits that are offered, you will have five classes remaining for which you can use your DH tuition reimbursement benefits towards. And when all is said and done, you have personally invested less than $400 towards a credential that has statistically been shown to increase your long-term earning potential by a substantial amount, all while working full-time and being paid to increase your skills and abilities. As a final recap of this opportunity that you learned about in part one and two of this information session, if you're selected to the Medical Assistant Apprenticeship Program, Within just two years' time, you have the ability to join our growing healthcare community, become nationally credentialed as a certified clinical medical assistant, remain employed in a full-time benefit-eligible role from day one, and complete your associate's degree from Colby Sawyer College for less than $400 with all the support and guidance from a team of specialists who are dedicated to making this journey as individually successful and rewarding for you. This concludes part two of our information session. I hope you found this information helpful in your pursuit to determining if this program would be a great next step in your employment path. Keep an eye out on your email and phone as within three to five business days of receiving your registration, we will reach out to you with more information about upcoming dates, virtual office times, as well as the full program schedule for the upcoming program. In the meantime, please remember to get your full application package turned into us and as always, reach out with any immediate questions to our email address provided, wri at hitchcock.org. If you have found that this path may not be exactly what piques your interest, we have other training opportunities as well as other employment opportunities within DH. If you would be interested in sharing your thoughts and interests, we would be happy to brainstorm with you and share all our resources in finding you the best fit for your next professional endeavor. Feel free to reach out and we will schedule you with one of our program leaders or consultants in the workforce development team. Thank you for watching.